Hi, in today's video I'm gonna talk about three easy ways to detect whether you have an AC leak, Freon leak in your system. How you doing guys? So in today's video I'm gonna talk about AC systems again. It's January 2023. I got this unit installed in December. Unfortunately after a month, I don't know why, I got a leak. Uh, and because the previous system uh, there was also leaking, I kind of knew or suspected that something was going on. So I wanna talk about those three things that led me to believe that I have a leak. Uh, one of the quick and easy ways to detect the uh, leaks is my AC guy brought a little bit different device that when he turned it on they was starting to beeping in a certain spots telling us that there is a leak so I'm gonna give you a description to this device that I bought for 20 bucks on uh, description on this video basically all you do is just you turn it on wait a couple of seconds and then you can change sensitivity uh, with this uh, wheel and then if this device detects any leaks either here in the coil or you can do it outside you can also use it in your car this should start beeping and letting you know that there is a some kind of a leak so this is one easy way to do it the second way to find out that something is going on this may look silly but this is how I actually found out that there is something wrong I put the thermometer by the vent and on a day uh, when I installed my AC first I measured 58 degrees Fahrenheit and I knew that this is the, the right temperature. So up on about fifth or sixth week after installing that AC I noticed that something is weird because I was actually sleeping in this room and I noticed that I was thinking it's not blowing too cold comparing to what we had uh, almost like a month uh, before that. So I put my thermometer up and what I see 68 degrees. Of course something was wrong so if you start seeing those kind of uh, changes in temperature that you know when you go and put your hand to the vent that is closest to your AC system and it's really not freezing you may not be crazy just take your thermometer put it on check the temperature the I'm thinking I'm not an AC guy but if I set it up at 58 degrees I'm thinking 60 degrees probably that's gonna be the an average lowest temperature that I should get from this uh, air vent. Uh, if the, your temperature goes to 60 something or 70 of course it's not gonna cool off the temperature uh, in your house enough and your AC is gonna be running and running constantly. Mine was taking last week about three hours just to drop one temperature so that's not an indicator that something is going on with your AC and you may have a leak. So my AC is now is, has been running for a couple of minutes and as you can see the temperature is dropping closer to 60 degrees. This is what it's supposed to be. Uh, if you let it run a little bit longer probably it's gonna drop below 60. So this is the normal temperature that you should have uh, coming out of events. So number three indicator. This is what happened to me twice already with my old system. This is where my uh, AC is located and this area got flooded twice already so this time after putting my AC unit I put this old pan to collect uh, water you're gonna ask me what, what water well here's what happens when your AC is freezing up what's going on then your coils are gonna be freezing up why because there is not enough pressure of freon in a system what happens after you turn it off then the uh, ice start dripping and then this whole area was wet to the point where it flooded my entire uh, uh, hallway so if you're going to see water dripping and also uh, if you are able to see that um, I don't know if I can show you I'm gonna show you that on the pictures but there is this tray on the side that when the temperature gets very cold it condensates water like crazy so that's another indicator that something is going on so those are very simple three ways to detect your AC leaks 
if you let your AC run without the freon you're gonna mess up your compressor and then you're gonna have additional expense also after I pull the uh, brand new AC unit I use Viper pan and drain treatment which I found out to be really amazing I spray it in a pan and also underneath on the coils and this uh, this product basically prevents the algae to uh, clog the drain uh, for about six months. I found it to be working really great and I use it in all four of my units. If you have any questions, send me an email. I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. Thanks for watching, guys. Goodbye.